What is up guys and welcome to the vlog. One second. Welcome to the Mastercraft Pro. We are on the Saturday. Try to do something slightly different this trip. I've got my notes and we are gonna just give a quick recap to day one, show you some highlights, show you some videos because in the men's only three people didn't make it and in the women's I think five didn't make it but all the syndicate team made it. Me and John were a little close, but we were fine. We had a little bit of a doo-doo. So first of all, essentially with the Mastercraft Pro, it was a top 15 made the cut for the semi-final, which is happening today for the men. There was 18 skiers. And the top 10 made the final for the women, and there was 15 skiers. But then we're going to move on to a top 8 cut, and then just a final top 8 round. So... Quick scores on the doors, even though my food's getting cold. This was, I didn't think this planned through. So first of all, my highlight of the day was Chris Parrish. He looked insane. The 39 was just absolutely to die for and made me very jealous. Um, he is really on form and absolutely in love with his O2 works. And he looks insane right now. Two at 41, a big tie there in fifth place with about five people. So there's a big clump there. Next up as well on the O2, we have Benny, he skied well getting through 39 and getting a 1 at 41. Moving on to Will, skied classic Will Asher style, getting a 3 at 41. That puts him in a tied second with Freddie and Tigas. And then Dane is, has the outright lead with 4 at 41 as of the moment. Next up, we have the two disappointments, me and John Travers. John's been really struggling with a bad back lately. But I think he's been a little bit nervous with it, especially in the qualification round. He knew that the 3 was in, got over to 4. Um, ended up falling. So then moving on to myself, four at 39. Obviously not what I wanted, but then moving on to the women. We had two women in the field, Jamie Bull and Ali Nicholson. Jamie just balled out. She ran probably the best 39 she's ran this season and just looked absolutely insane, getting a zero of 41. I mean, who goes inside one when you get all that far? I've probably done it before, not gonna lie. Um, but great skiing there from Jamie, and like I say, beautiful 39, really coming up to form for these last few events of the season. Then finally we have Ali Nicholson making it through for that cut with a 5 at 38. There was a four-way runoff for two spots with a 4 at 38. So she skied well, she skied to the target a little bit, got through that 4, got all the way to 5, put herself a cut above that runoff, and she is in to fight another day. But the women, Regina's in first with a 1 at 41, Jamie Bull in second, and then Ali Nicholson is in seventh place. So a good standings for this quarterfinals, moving into the semifinals today. I'm gonna to dig into this breakfast and then we're gonna get on the road. I 100% burnt my bacon trying to film this. It's a little bit sad. Whoops. Oh, she's crunchy. We've got Brando Caruso coming on the way. European, so it's probably gonna be late, but then we're on the way. All right, Jamie, pressure's on. 10 second recap, what happened yesterday? Uh, I ran 39 and I'm super stoked and we're into semis this morning. What position are you in? Second. What position are you going to finish in? First. There you go. All right, so as you can see, it is pretty windy out there. It is strong, especially down that far end of the lake down there. That gate one, two for that 39 is going to be a challenge. But let's see what we can do. We're from England. We're used to it. No excuses. All right, so the women are nearly finished. Jamie's just gone out there. Took a little bit of a cautious approach, going at 38 headwind to make sure that she made this final. Top six making it. Jamie with a two and a half at 39. Guaranteed through. Regina's out there now, but there's only like two till me. So I'm going to catch quick interviews with them after I ski. And I'm excited to see why Jamie took that 38 headwind and see if we can learn some. How'd it go? Went pretty well. Into finals, so that's all we were looking for out of that set. Interested to know, obviously you and Ali took a different route of attack with it. She went out at 32, you went out at 28. Heard from her that she didn't like that end. She just hated that end for the 38, um, so she went to still take in the tailwind. What was your thoughts on that one? Uh, definitely a different approach. I think it was very gusty and there are times where I was like, yeah, this is fine. I'm going to do whatever I want in the tailwind. And then there were times where I was like, hey, it's getting pretty windy. And really all I wanted to do was make it to the next round. I had a good prelim score, so I'm confident for finals, but I wanted to make it through. So I wanted to guarantee that I was running 38 and took it in the headwind and got it done. And then the wind died down a bit and 39 was doable for sure, but I kind of messed up a bit in the my turn, it's windy, it's strong, go for it, got nothing to lose. Well, I got a well done from Nate and Freddie for running possibly the worst 39 that I've ever done. The start was horrendous. I've never quite had a one like that in tournament. I managed to run it, so I'm pretty proud of that. Just couldn't get myself going. I don't know why, the one through five just was not rolling. Uh, but managed to fight through a 39 and then got a one at 41, an incredibly close call. Felt like I went round two at the moment, but looking back on webcast, literally just 
roll over the boy, which sucks because I think two would be in in these conditions, but one is probably just not going to be enough. We'll we'll keep you updated. But John ended up with a half at 41 to a good ski and made it through a 39, but unfortunately that would probably be him out. But Will is up next. Let's see what he can do. All right, so Will coming in here, 41 off. He needs a full one to make the final. Let's see what he's going to do. A good one. Oh, and a test turn two. Start the off. Alrighty, Will, we're in the final, solid one and a half at 41. How'd it feel? It felt good out there. Yeah, it felt, felt a lot like yesterday. Felt pretty comfortable. I watched you a lot when I was younger, do the whole like inside one ball at 41. Was that kind of what came out today? You wanted to be a certain spot in the in the leaderboard or? Yeah, I just, I just kind of want to go out and ski my own round. Um, I've attacked the first round a lot this summer. And I just want to kind of go out there and maybe attack the final and then save it a bit for that. You never know, like another day, another day, but that's kind of the plan right now. I like that attitude. Look forward to watching you in the final and good luck. You Miss Jamie Roll, finals. Any thoughts? Just going for it. Yeah, gonna go and uh, win looks good now. So conditions are solid and we gotta go put up a big score. I like it, let's do it. Good yeah. luck. Thank you. Smash it. All right, so two and a half is the top score at the minute. Let's see what she can put together. She knows she has Whitney and Regina following her. So she is gonna wanna get down. And she did the first round. She's got a beautiful headwind. See what she can do. All right, Jamie coming in 39. She's getting a good start. Oh, slow round two. Come on, Jamie. Good three. Come on. Beautiful four. Five. She's in it. And a girl. There you go. All right, 41. What's she going to do? Oh, takes the S turn. One at 41, that is gonna put her up there. All right, so Whitney is through 39. Jamie has the one, Let's see what she can do. Here she comes, she's gonna wanna turn it, she's a lefty. All right, so just got official word from, well, Vince in the tower. Official enough. So because the semi-final round, Whitney got a higher score, that means that if Regina goes and beats them, Jamie will be in third. If Regina ties them or gets less than them, i.e. Whitney and Jamie are in first, then we go to a runoff. So let's hope that Regina either loses or, or ties, then we get a fun runoff, and we always love that. So Regina going down, beautiful 39, up until five, just a choke. The only thing you can say is she choked. Ended up back knee getting crumpled, and just not enough for the win. So Regina is in third place. Whitney and Jamie are heading off now. Jamie's out there first. Let's see what they can do. It's the standard head-to-head, -head, so the winner wins. So there's no weird rules with ties or anything like that. If they tie, they go again. Quite a considerable tailwind for this 39 off the dock, so it's gonna be a challenge to see what they can do. What's the prediction? Team manager. Oh man. 39, cold tailwind. Jamie's from Canada. She likes cold winds. <laughs> Win is from Canada She's too. She's got it. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a good game. one. It's anyone's game, man. This is intense. This like is what it. we want. All right, so here is Jamie Bolt. Tailwind 39. Let's see what she can do. Looks like a good one behind the spray. Oh, not a great two. Come on, Jamie. Oh, I don't know if she gets it or not. All right, Jamie giving an official three. Whitney's coming in. What's she going to do? All right, here we go. 39. Tailwind. She's got to get a full... She's got to get a piece of four. What's she going to do? Oh, she's done it. Jamie's the champion. Ooh. Ali Nicholson on 250. Ah. Regina Jaquist. Uh, champion, how are we feeling? In a tie now. Feeling good. With uh, yeah, Whitney Merklin. Well, I wasn't too confident about that three and a half. But, uh, and uh, we'll check yeah, in with uh, Wade's World. It was happy. enough. Yeah. It was enough. Well done. Yeah. Oh, so CP going down on 39 there. Four and a half for 39. Insane skiing from Chris there. This week, just not quite getting it done in the end. Tailwind, I think, just pushed him down, stopped at four. And I mean, what can you do? But great skiing from Chris this weekend. I think he's going to be happy with his performance. All right, Will is through 39. Beautiful 39. Best he's been skiing all weekend. Let's see what he can put together on 41. Okay, here comes 41. Not a good one. Gets it on two. Come on, Will. Big three. Oh, he does. Woo, he's through it. He's had a three and a half or four at 41 there from Will. Big score. So Will has been given a three at 41, so he didn't go around four ball. It was tight, but trust the judges on that call. So he's in second place right now. Next up we have Charlie Ross, Cole McCormick, Thomas DeGasfrey, 
and Dane Meckler to see if he can stay on that podium. And this is a little bit of an interesting moment. Obviously, Will may be stopping a little bit early in that semi-finals to put himself out a little bit earlier in this event. And essentially, him doing that has meant that Cole McCormick has had a three, and because he got the full two in the first in the semi-finals, Will's been knocked down into third place right now. Dane Meckler is just about to leave the dock. Tigas just fell early, got a two at 41. So Will sat in third right now. Let's see if Dane is going to knock him off the podium. All right, Dane coming in. 41. Is he going to win his first event? Is Will going to stand on the podium? Oh. oh. Yeah. All right, so that is the event done for this weekend. The Mastercraft Pro done and dusted. Ending up with a good showing. Will obviously finishing in third and Jamie finishing on that top spot. So super insane skill from the team. Chris Parrish making his first final in as long as he can remember, which is awesome to see how well he's getting on with this new ski. And it's the Chris Parrish comeback. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all the love and views. See you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.